Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to properly uh, display semi-transparent objects and it's not that easy as you may think. So as a starting point, actually as an example, I'm going to use cube, typical cube, standard one, uh, reset, remove collider, remove component, okay. So this is my cube, I'm going to make it uh, look like it's made of glass and I'll use such simple uh, texture which actually looks like this as you can see mm, the green part is semi transparent so it's actually it has a 50% of um, alpha channel and the red one as you can see it's 100% so yeah this is how I want my cube to look like and this one is not semi transparent so the easiest first step we can make is to uh, choose some kind of transparent shader and yes it now is semi-transparent as you can see this is a we can see sky and the ground through that cube but that's not a um, cube made of glass and that's why uh, that's because I don't see internal internals of this cube I can't see let's say this side from inside there should be also red square and it's invisible and it's invisible for a couple of reasons uh, one reason is that mm, there is a probably turn on optimization called culling which means those triangles let me show you the triangles mm, try those triangles which are facing their backside this is a backside this is the this is the front side those triangles which are presenting their backside towards camera and this there is a camera are not being rendered that's one problem another problem is that probably mm, there is a z uh, buffer writing turn on so those triangles if they are being rendered first they are uh, writing to the z buffer values that those triangles cannot pass and this is another reason why it cannot be displayed so if you want to properly mm, display semi-transparent object you have to turn off calling turn off z writing and make a z test in order to display semi-transparent objects uh, correctly with reference to already existing uh, opaque uh, objects on the scene so let's clean this up a little bit mm. and I'm going to use hello word shader from my website you're gonna find links uh, below there are two shaders one is a very simple one and there is a correct one longer we're gonna use as a starting point this shader And I'm, oops, I'm going to cut and create shader cube. Okay, remove the original code. Let's put the shader here, and let's sit, let's analyze it a little bit. Mm, as you can see, it is in queue called transparent that means unity first uh, renders all opaque objects and then at the end all transparent objects and we are using standard alpha blending the culling which i was talking about is turned off so all triangles no matter which side they are facing towards camera are being rendered uh, z writing to the buffer uh, is turned off and z test is uh, contains condition that if triangle is closer to camera or at least at the same uh, length the same distance from camera is already existing uh, object then it is uh, being rendered and the rest is very simple mm, this shader just using that is using simple uh, one texture and nothing more fancy so let's go back now let's change the shader in material 
there is auto blending and you can see that we are seeing uh, how our uh, how all sides of the cube from inside looks like but as you can see it is displayed incorrectly anyway for some reason or maybe I'll put this to shade mode for some reason and I uh, explain you explain you why for some reason uh, the front face front side is being overridden by the floor and the left side and the left side also overreads the top which is completely not as we would like to have it the front side because it's in the front should cover overwrite uh, those sides and it's not happening the way we want uh, in order to show you how it should looks like I'm going to create another cube but this cube will be made uh, from 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 quads quads actually reset remove collider I'm going to create another game object also reset name it cube 2 well, let's put that as a child here and turn off the original one let's name it front and it should be at position minus 0.5 it's gonna be used exactly the same uh, material and now I need back it's going to be on a uh, position 0.5 plus and it's going to be turned around 180 uh, its local coordinate system z direction must point to the center of of this cube every single side must point to the center of this uh, created uh, being creating uh, being created uh, cube now let's create right side zero zero and turn it left minus 90 position 0.5 copy paste left position minus 0.5 and it must be plus 90 okay now we need top and up and down up reset and let's turn it this direction so it's 90 and position is 0.5 in the y direction copy paste and let's make down position is minus 0.5 and rotation minus 90 okay so we have a another cube this time this cube is made of uh, quads and as you can see this one is displayed properly correctly to compare with original one you see it definitely looks better now why is this happening well mm, basically in this uh, cube every single side is separate uh, game object and unity probably is, uh, sorts um, during or before rendering uh, those game objects uh, sorts them according to the uh, distance from camera and there, there is a camera oh i should put it into zero in this direction oh okay so uh the game object in this case back side is being rendered first and the front side is being rendered probably the last that's why it over it always overrides mm, sides that are further from camera that's why it is always displayed in a correct way 
unfortunately we cannot do the same with uh, original cube because original cube is just one mesh here every single game object is actually separate mesh and here uh, this is just one mesh so in order to properly display this mesh we would have to change basically every single time we, re we are rendering it we would have to change the sequence in which we are drawing those triangles and that's not a good idea so what to do with that cube to make it display properly well we have to redesign our shader a little bit and we have to change both culling and add another pass but first of all I'm going to show you how culling actually works so I'm going to display this uh, cube but only the uh, sides that are facing with their back side towards camera so basically I want to go into uh, cube and show you those those uh, sides only in order to do that I'm going to cull off front triangles we are culling so we are rejecting them and only uh, those triangles that are facing camera with their backside uh, stays and are being rendered this is how it looks like and in order to prove you that it is exactly mm, those triangles with their back faces I'm going to create another uh, cube reset no collider I don't need this but smaller 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and as you can see no matter from which angle I'm looking at the white uh, cube is always before those uh, those, those uh, sides from the mm, bigger cube because those sides are further and we are seeing internals of the big glass cube now I'm going to change culling from front to back and now we're gonna see that white uh, cube is always inside no matter from which angle I'm looking at it's always inside because we are rendering only those uh, those uh, triangles that are closer to camera and facing camera with their front face now in order to combine both ways of displaying mm, triangles from our mesh we have to copy the face pass uh, part of the shader now if you don't know what the pass is for uh, basically we're taking whole model, whole 3D mesh and we're rendering it with those settings in this way and then shader is taking another uh, the same, the very same uh, mesh and it's rendering exactly the same mesh but with, but with new settings so it's being, the model is being rendered twice but with, but with different uh, settings so first we're going to mm, reject front sides and then we're going to reject back sides back, back faces and now it looks just fine this is exactly what I was expecting to get what I wanted from the very beginning there is a camera and as you can see it's identical right now now both cubes are displayed in a correct way so remember uh, if you want to correctly display semi transparent object you have to have uh, proper settings with culling z writing testing z testing uh, proper uh, queue and remember we are using two passes first we are drawing 
the internals of the object and then we are uh, drawing the external uh, part and that's it for today so thanks for watching bye